Morning children, today I am going to start with chapter number 3 which is parts of a computer. Now in this chapter you will be studying about different parts and their usage. Okay. Now let's see what are the main parts of a computer. There are basically four main parts of a computer. Monitor, CPU, keyboard and mouse. Now I'll explain you one by one. The first main part of a computer is monitor. Now I will share the picture of a monitor so that you can know, you'll know how the monitor looks like. This is the monitor. You all must have seen the monitor at your home also. All right. Or in the shopping malls and everywhere. This is how the monitor looks like. Now let's study what are the usage of the monitor. Now how does the monitor looks like? The monitor looks like a television. The monitor looks like a television. What you can see on the monitor? You can see movies and cartoons on the monitor. And what does it show? It shows the work that we do on a computer. That is why we say that monitor looks like a television because whatever work we do, we can see that work on the monitor. Whether you are typing, whether you are watching any movie, you are watching any cartoons, you are doing painting, whatever work you are doing, you can see that work on the screen of your monitor. The next part is CPU. What is the full form of CPU? The full form of CPU is Central Processing Unit. Okay. Central Processing Unit. Now CPU is, act, this is how the CPU looks like. This is the CPU box. This is the CPU box. And this is your CPU chip. This is your CPU chip. This is your CPU box. And this one is your CPU chip or you can also say a microprocessor. This CPU chip is actually in, is, uh, this CPU chip is actually present in the CPU box. Okay. This CPU chip or this microprocessor is actually placed inside this CPU box. CPU is known as the brain of a computer. Okay. CPU is known as the brain of a computer. Thus, as I told you just now, that CPU chip is present inside the CPU box or the microprocessor is present inside the CPU box. And what does that microprocessor do? It helps a computer to think and work according to the given orders. Who give the orders? We. Okay. The user. The user gives the orders to the computer. And what does the CPU do? What does the microprocessor do? Or the microprocessor do? The microprocessor helps a computer to, to think and do the work. The third main part is keyboard. This is how the keyboard looks like. You can see on your screen that that. There are so many keys on the keyboard. Do you know how many keys are there on a keyboard? 104 keys. If you do, if you calculate all these keys, you will find that in a standard keyboard, there are 104 keys on a keyboard. What does the keys do? The keys, with the help of those keys, what we can do? We can type letters, words, numbers and Special characters. Now, the last but not the least, the fourth main part of a computer is mouse. This is the mouse. This is the picture of a mouse. Alright. This mouse actually looks like a real mouse that you find it at your home. Okay. That you find it in your home. This mouse actually looks like a real mouse. It has two buttons. First button and the second button. All right, this is which button? This is right button and this one is left button. Okay. 
mouse a computer mouse looks like a real mouse a computer mouse looks like a real mouse how many buttons it has it has two buttons it has two buttons on it it helps us to draw pictures and play games what does it do it helps us to draw pictures and play games and with the help of the mouse pointer we can point and select things on the monitor now this is the mouse pointer that you can see i'm moving it with this mouse pointer you can point and select the things on the monitor all right children so i hope you have understood all these four main parts of a computer there are four main parts of a computer monitor cpu central processing unit keyboard and mouse